So hello, uh, it is a pleasure to present our work uh, on the new mouse models of uh, multiple sulfatase deficiency uh, with the uh, SUMEF1 variants. And I'm Nicola Brunetti-Pieri from uh, the University Federico II in Naples and the Telephone Institute of Genetics and Medicine. So multiple sulfatase deficiency is due to mutations in uh, the gene SUMEF1 that encodes uh, for an enzyme that uh, activates all sulfatases. And as a consequence of the deficiency of this enzyme, the old sulfatases have reduced activity, and there is accumulation of multiple compounds that are the substitutes of all these sulfatases in multiple tissues, resulting in a very complex disease that's a combination of all the symptoms and signs of each individual sulfatase deficiency. And in fact, the disease can present with the developmental delay and the regression, epilepsy, short stature, skeletal problems, hepatosplenomegaly, and of course, facial features. One of the major problems of the disease is the white matter disease and the hydrocephalus. So the disease is really a combination of the deficiency of multiple sulfatases because the SUMEF1 is the enzyme that activates several of the sulfatases that are in our body. Deficiency of the SUMEF1, therefore, results in the defects in all of these sulfatases. So there has been an animal model of multiple sulfatase deficiency that has been generated uh, several years ago. And this is uh, completely lacking of the enzyme activity of the FEGE, that is the enzyme encoded by SUMEF1. These mice, however, are very difficult to use because they start dying shortly after birth. They are much smaller, as you can see from the slide, and they are very challenging to use for investigation of new therapies, also for the better understanding of the disease mechanism. Therefore, we wanted to generate a more useful mouse model, and uh, we selected the two pathogenic missense variants that have been described in patients that uh, have uh, less severe non-neonatal forms of multiple sulfatase deficiency. And these are the mutations highlighted here. A missing change at the 155 position and another missing change at the 277 position. The corresponding amino acid in the mouse uh, SUMEF1 gene, the serine 153 and the alanine 277 that uh, are mutated to proline very respectively. And by CRISPR-Cas9, we generated mice that are homozygous for both of these variants. These mice uh, appeared to be relatively healthy with uh, only shorter lifespan as compared to controls and uh, uh, mild reductions in body weight, as shown here from the growth charts of the mice. By gross appearance, these mice had uh, some craniofacial dysmorphism that is pointed by the arrow compared to the controlled mice. And then, uh, of course, we looked at the enzyme activity of the different sulfatases, and they were severely reduced. By the arrow, you can see the aristophase A, aristophase B, aristophase L, and so on and so forth, enzyme activities that are all reduced in the two strain of the mice as compared to the wild-type mice. But we also had one control of a SUMEF1 knockout mouse that has undetectable enzyme activity. This mice have uh, uh, accumulation of uh, gags in different tissues, as expected. And also, they showed, uh, for example, in livers, uh, accumulation of macrophages and monocyte cells, as shown by the CDC 68 immunofluorescence. And by electron microscopy, they were found to have increased uh, lysosome, uh, both in sites and in number. We look at the brain, of course, and we could see that there is uh, an increase in the GFAP staining, suggesting uh, astroglial cell activation, increase in LAMP1, shown by immunohistochemistry and electron microscopy, indicating an increase in lysosomal area. And importantly, there was a, a decrease in the myelin proteolipid protein TLP in these mice, suggesting that these mice have a white matter abnormalities that is recapitulating the abnormality uh, seen in patients. Interestingly, these mice also were found to have an ocular phenotype with reduced outer nuclear layer thickness in the retina, as shown here by the slide. This is a, a cross-section of the retina of the mice. These were also found to have electroretinogram abnormalities. So altogether, these results suggest the degenerations of roads and cones. But in summary, we generated two new mouse lines of multiple sulfatase deficiency carrying a missense variant in the SUMEF1 
that showed an almost normal lifespan, but they had market reduction of all sulfuric enzyme activities that were tested, storage of glycosaminoglycan in tissues, enlarged lysosomes, mild white matter alterations, reduced in the retinal thickness and the ERG abnormalities. Overall, this mice are uh, significantly less severe than the knockout mice previously generated, and they can be used for further investigation of the disease mechanism and to investigate new treatments for multiple software deficiency. Thank you for your attention.